The issue of the country's independent foreign policy was less discussed on President Bongbong Marcos' second State of the Nation address. But according to the president, it has great contributions to the investment values that keep on coming into the country. Hannah Jane Sancho reports. President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. in his second State of the Nation address emphasized that his independent foreign policy is effective as it ripped investment pledges from his foreign trips. Though it was less discussed in his second State of the Nation address, the independent foreign policy of the administration was on the right track, according to the president, as it has contributed a lot to the country's economy. As a matter of fact, there are old friends and new allies that have contributed big investment value in the Philippines. For that, we have not limited ourselves to the local economy, but we have looked to the global economy for partnerships and agreements. Our independent foreign policy a friend to all and enemy of none, has proven effective. We have formed strategic alliances with our traditional and newfound partners in the international community. We have embarked on foreign trips to promote the interest of the country for peace building and for mutually beneficial purposes. These economic missions have yielded an estimated total investment value of 3.9 trillion pesos or 71 billion U.S. dollars with a potential to generate 175,000 jobs. Over one trillion investment has been approved in the year of this administration. But through the green lanes, the country has earned more than 12 billion pesos. The implementation of recent economic reforms is underway. BOI approved investment projects have reached 1.2 trillion pesos during our first year, while other strategic investments approved for processing through the newly established green lanes amount now to 230 billion pesos. Our existing bilateral and multilateral trade agreements, notably, notably within the ASEAN framework and with Japan and with Europe, and allow us to leverage our competitive advantages and reap economic benefits. We will continue to forge more of these international partnerships that will lead to a more balanced trade strategy and a healthier economic position. Currently, the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP, is effective and is a huge help to the import and export of the Philippines, especially to the products from the agricultural sector. The Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP, is now in force. It is a multilateral trade arrangement with the, with the ASEAN and other countries such as Australia, China, Japan, Korea, and New Zealand. We can now have competitive access to a regional, regional market that comprises 2 billion people. For God and my beloved Philippines, this has been Hannah Jane Sancho, SMRI News.